just wait. Yeah, you just wait. Oh.
That's right. You're right.
So we have an open mic, and I understand there's a few people that want to conduct the room. I'm looking at you, Noah. I'm looking at you. Yeah, we're not ready for the night, buddy. We got you right here for a little while. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay. Jesus. How about this? You've got nothing to work with. How's everybody doing? Let me just. Let me just. No, I have the penis costume on. I am a dick. Let's just, just put that out there right now. The first thing we do, let's kill all the lawyers. Rufal mocking, it often expresses the ordinary person's frustration with the arcana and complexity of law. But what few realize is that this line is intended as praise. Yeah. As a famous remark by the plotter of treachery, William Shakespeare's King Henry IV shows, the surest way to chaos and tyranny, even then, was to remove oh, yeah. the I can't wait. Me. That's right. But still, lawyers have a bad reputation, which is perhaps why I've been asked to participate in the roast portion of the show tonight. To roast someone who chose the only profession worse than mine, banking. Concerned about doing the roast because uh, it's hard to make fun of the people you love. Uh, but luckily, none of them are here. So, you know, like Ken Marsh, his brother RJ couldn't be here, but they look exactly alike, so who gives a fuck? I do. Yet they look nothing like their cousin John Hayes. Well, except for the fact that they're ugly, they're complete opposites. Woo! What the fuck happened? To your family's gene pool. Okay. Did your did your parents like have to go into the devil? Is it? It's, it's fucking horrible. The, the only one who escaped is Jeff Marsh, but he was adopted. So not proven. There's that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I, I'm thankful that that Kenny could be here to this event tonight. I came to the wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of events, is Josh and Suzanne here? What the fuck are those guys? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. 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 They're they're not here, so they get they get skipped. Oh. Bye. Because oh. oh. because Rich, what I was gonna say is that um, you know Josh and Suzanne is a perfect example of how to properly date your friend's ex. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But dating your friend's ex does have its privileges. Like not having to introduce your friends when you go out. <laughs> no, I can remember. I can remember the first time that um, I've known Rich to date a girl who hey, none Sean. of his friends knew. We're in the U bar. We're, we're, we're in the U bar, and Rich walks up to uh, Jenny and I goes, Jenny, Noah. I want you to meet Melissa. <laughs> and she looks at him and she says, seriously? <laughs> and Richard has this confused look on his face. And, and she says, while looking at Richard, hand outstretched to Jenny, my name is Megan. <laughs> because it was a mix between <laughs> Melissa and Megan, until uh, later we had to change it to Melgany when the second time we introduced her as Wendy. Fucking asshole. So from one dumbass move to the next, oh, wow. we're playing tribute yeah. to a son, Woo. a brother, and an incomparable right. lover of never taking his cash out of his wallet. <laughs> Mine. 
I'm talking, of course, about Richard Tillet. A man. <laughs> who's done nothing to deserve this big shaking tonight except then turning 35. Fuck you, you're old. The good news is we get to bust Rich's balls all night. The bad news, we had to invite Rich. Rich, the man with the sex appeal of a school bus fire. Rich, whose girlfriend, when I asked what he was like in bed, replied, it's like scissoring with a woman. Oh. Oh. Wow. True story. Oh. Rich, the greatest person I know, because these are the other people I know. Zing! Thank you, it's $200 an hour. <laughs> This is, a, this is a surprise party, but I knew it would be uh, easy to get rich here tonight. Hey, watch Only your glands, man. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I like your Fucking head. bastard. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Shelly, Shelly, has he already asked you for his half a gas money on the way up here? I know he has, right? <laughs> So the only reason Rich hangs out with me is for the free legal advice. Well, I got news for you, Rich. I'm a shitty lawyer, so ha ha! Yeah. Hey, joke's on you, motherfucker. Oh my god! my material for Rich because, quite frankly, I haven't seen him since he's moved down to the Bay Area. I'm not even sure whether he's changed that much over the years. I, I was going to give him shit for being a banker, but then I realized that's the best thing about him. I mean, look at him. So, so what I'm going to so like to do is post for you a few characteristics that I've noticed during our friendship, and you can tell me if they're, if they're still true today. Pull it in. Uh, for example, does he still forget to bring his wallet when he goes to the bars? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Does, does he fail to bring alcohol to your house? Yes. Every time. Has he been saying that he doesn't plan on drinking? Oh, yeah. Very closely by drinking all your beer. Where's the ocean shirt? Does he express homosexual fantasies about being men? Yes. Is he, is he Italian? Yes! yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Does he wear swim trunks with colored shirts? Yes. We've all, we've all seen that. that. We've all seen that. <laughs> Does he have one favorite shirt that he wears every fucking time he goes out? Yes. Every time! Because it's free! Does he date your ex-girlfriend? Yes. At least I know that Shelly's right for him because he's finally dating his own ex-girlfriend. Yeah! That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Does he talk about your penises? Yes. On occasion. A lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, talks he, he talks about Sean Wilson's penis. I think, I swear to God, I think I could draw it just from his description. It's amazing. Hang on. Like, like, it's amazing. Let me, let, me, let me get it like... Everybody knows. Everyone knows. Wow. This is just from what you told me. I can't fucking draw. Looks like the costume you're wearing, right? Anyway, Sean, is this is this your penis? <laughs> is that just is that the scale? <laughs> but now he's dating Shelly. We put this whole fucking event together. Woo! Love you. Love you. Rich, what did you do to deserve this woman? Nothing. Fucking <laughs> nothing. My advice to you, Rich, whatever you do, don't fuck it up. All right? I'm giving you the same advice I met right after I started dating Jen. You need to not fuck up, marry her, and then she's stuck. 